Hello and welcome back to Serious About Salvage and another video on the channel. Today we're going to continue with the 500X. Only a couple of little jobs to do. Well, one. Well, yeah, two little jobs to do. And then this is going off to the paint shop to have that bit of damage that our uh, forklift truck driver did in the salvage yard. It's a little bit on that corner. It's nothing much, but needs to be put right before it can go. Um, so I'm going to spin you around because I have not got much time and we need to get on with this. So you've seen this car already, uh, we know it runs now, we've got the second key has now been corded to the car. So we have one there and I've got that one in there, two proper keys and my window from Fiat Italy has turned up. Look pretty simple to uh, install these. Um, there's not much going on, you got to fix in there, fix in there. Something going on up here maybe. Um, we're not going to know until we pull the old one out. But nice of them, they put a string on, round ready, to pull this little seal um, around the glass, around the uh, metalwork by the looks of it. So yeah, I like that. So the exact right part off the ridge uh, and then when we've done that we've literally just got the cowling to put on back around the dashboard under there that should be pretty straightforward so yeah we're gonna have to take this door card off to do this glass i'm kind of hoping this is going to be pretty straightforward like i said but i don't know for definite but nothing else really then to do on this uh, Fiat 500. I think I've got the oil and filter somewhere already for this car. Um, maybe not. I don't quite remember. Got a few lying around so I'll run them through the uh, reg checker and see if they're the ones I actually got because there's, there's a set there. Not too sure what they're for. Probably for this, uh, but yeah, let's just get the camera going. Let's get this door card off and see what we need to do to sort this glass over.
Well, that came out pretty easily, really. Uh, obviously, I can't be quite that rough with the new one because this was already smashed, but the other one will be a lot more rigid. So maybe that will help. Uh, but basically, yeah, so behind the door card, there was one screw. Where was it? Where was it? There, sorry, up there. And there was one behind the speaker through there. So, yeah, pretty easy, really. So, yeah, um, hopefully the new one goes in as easy. But I don't think it's going to do. <laughs> I think it might be a wrestle. But either way, we've got to get it in there. Um, so, yeah. Windows all the, way, all the way down. That's got to help the matter. As long as I get the window slotted back into the channel and get this rubber back in it, then it all should be good, really. Uh, so, yeah, let's give it a go. Like I said, time's a bit precious today, so... Let's get cracking.
Uh, there we go, got it in. It was a wrestle and you probably saw I had to take this window out in the end to make it a lot easier. Should have done it really straight away. Uh, but yeah, it only, it only got me once. Got me once, just nipped me. But I mean, window goes up, goes down. Perfectly fine, nice and smooth. All I need to do now is just fasten up that door card and that's that done. Right then, so we're all back together. Got lots of glass everywhere to tidy up. So I need to give it a good hoover. Um, but, I mean, the car's ready now to go to the paint shop and get these two bits sorted out. So there's nothing else for us to do now, other than the oil and filter when it comes back. Give it a good clean, it's got plenty of MOT. It'll be done and finished with, so... Uh, I think what I'll do now is I'll... Take it to the paint shop. Once it returns, we'll have a look at it. See how good of a job they've done to the... Um, bonnets and bumper. Give it a good clean, finish off the video and uh, we'll be finished with this car. Nice, quick, easy fix. Took a little bit to sort out the key and the, well, the key situation, no, the glass took a little bit of time, didn't it? So it's been sat around a little bit, but it'll come up, it'll come back a great car fixed with the damage, low miles. It'll be a, a great little car for someone. So I'll be back with you as soon as possible. Right, I'm back and she's back from the paint shop. We're actually a few days ahead now, um, literally the car is finished, I've serviced it, I've just washed it, hooved it out, cleaned it. It's had a fresh MOT, even though it had 8 months on it, uh, straight through, no advisories, and this is the finished article, all done. The repair they've done looks great, again, uh, so very happy with that. We'll have a quick walk around, but I'm in a bit of a rush, because I forgot about doing this. And um, yeah, the car's actually going now, so I need to... Uh, I need to get off and get finished with this video so that I can finish the video for you guys really so it's just a quick look around there we go that's how it's turned out turned out great it's got a few marks around it but I mean it is a seven year old slash eight year old car regardless of mileage um, but no it looks good and it's been a well, like I said it was an easy one just a bit of a few delays on various parts and obviously with that added, added damage but it's a clean low mileage car that'll do someone really really well and last for a long time i said earlier i am fond of these finder x's they do drive really really well i do like them they're a big step up from a normal 500 in terms of quality big step i do like it but yeah sorry i'm gonna have to rush this one off now finish it uh, i do apologize for the abrupt end but at least you've got a bit of closure to see it finished. If I'd have forgotten, I wouldn't have been able to show you the finished article. Anyway, yeah, thank you for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.